Rhino Slider Evo has an integrated belt drive, which allows you to use accessories like Rhino Motion and Flywheel. It's also easily removed if you're not using these accessories. Now, many customers like to change their rails based on what they're shooting in a given day. You can swap between Carbon and Pro and either 24 inch and 42 inch rail options. Here's a common scenario. I'm shooting light and fast on location with a 24 inch carbon slider, but I wanna change the 42 inch carbon rails for a time lapse I'm doing that evening. Changing the rails and belt is easy and takes less than five minutes. Here's how it works. First, you'll wanna move your carriage off to the side of the center plate and lock down the brake. Flip your slider over and the belt is held in place on the carriage with two clamps. We wanna loosen both of those. So you can just pull the belt out of the clamps and remove it. Now that we have the belt removed, we need to swap out the rails. To do this, flip your slider back over and loosen the assembly screws to remove the legs and end plates from the slider. Once you have one side done, you can loosen the brake once again, remove your carriage and set it off to the side. We're gonna take the legs and end plates off the opposite side as well. Now that we have the rails free, we're going to set these off to the side, we'll grab our 42 inch rails. The first step is to install one side of the end plate and legs. And for you to know which side is up and down, the underside has your quarter 20 and your 3 8 inch tripod thread. So have that on the underside, slip this onto the rails, hold it in place with one hand, and then you can install the legs. Just simply screw into the rails. You'll want to screw them in with the legs extended because it'll be easier to feed the belt through once we actually install the belt. Alright, so next we want to install the carriage back on the rails. So we'll turn them around. And the orientation is actually important when you put your carriage back on. You'll want the brake facing you with the end plate with the drive shaft on the right. So right now I have the brake facing me and the end plate, this is the drive shaft, you want to be on your right side. So this is from my perspective. And again, put the end plate on, hold it with one hand, and then you can screw in the legs. Again, you want to leave the legs extended so that putting the belt on is much easier. All right, so we basically have our slider assembled, ready to go, but we don't have a belt on it. So I'll flip it back over. And here I have my 42 inch belt, which is available when you choose to purchase 42 inch rails. The first step is to feed it through one side of the pulley. You want to put it into the side that is the non-adjustable belt clamp. So you can loosen the fastener, put it inside of the clamp, and tighten down the fastener. Next, you feed the belt through the, the pulley, past the carriage, into the other side of the slider, other end plate, loop it back around. And before you actually install this on the opposite belt clamp, you want to, to loosen the thread as much as possible for the adjustment screw. So I'm gonna loosen this up, 
I'm actually going to move my carriage off to the side a bit more. And so we want to loosen this up because we want to tension the belt. So I'll put this in, pull it tight, line it up with the teeth on the belt clamp. Now we'll finger tighten the clamp screw so that we can still adjust the tension of the belt with the adjuster screw. So you can screw in the adjuster screw until you get proper tension to the belt. And you can tension the belt until it's not flopping around. Now that we've finished tensioning the belt, you wanna make sure that you've snugged up the clamp screws to keep the belt in place and you're ready to shoot. Now that I have my 42 inch carbon rails, I'm ready for my time lapse at night. If you guys have any questions at all about the interchangeable rails, about removing or tensioning the belt, please feel free to email us at support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.